Fourteen is on. There we go. Let's see how long that break was. About... Ooh, 24 minutes. That was longer than I thought. Awkward movements because I'm playing one handed while I pet my cat. On to battle. It's also why the break took longer than expected. You're finished. See this? Deception. Deception. Not even worth my time. On to battle. I'll stop. See this? Right, we need one hand for this trash. We're finished here. Let's go. The blue. So, that's a mastery that didn't fucking matter, did it? Not immediately, anyways. Broke, just run around the map long enough and you will find money. Tingling the camera one hand is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but the rest isn't so bad. Lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helavis, it isn't always. Sometimes Depending it's on the yellow. direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm. Mount Killeraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. I'm sure the game will never send us there. This is Dial's tale. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Very Tower. Very intimate with lizard this tales. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. 
Come on, let's go. Yes, let's. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. A little bit like Bayonetta. Pretty. And that's how it's done. Get it? Do. I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. That may be at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down.
I kind of want to wait till I have better equipment to upgrade. This one. Drop rate's worth it, for, but you have to lose key recovery. junk I'm going to google real quick and see if this shit's worth anything like Everything that has the same icon as the coins are junk. Everything with that little bag symbol is safe to sell. Better things in the future. Thank you. 
it does not look particularly yellow. Varying shades of red. And change it a little. It looks a little more colored. It's weird that it wouldn't be the same. Bugs have been out in full force the last couple days. Crickets sound like they're right outside my window. Went outside for like an hour, I got fucking ten mosquito bites. That's what I get for going outside. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs. It wasn't even an hour. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any yeah, free sailors around. Better be ready. Come on, really? Deception! 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 
Victory is ours. You'll be yeah. rushed on my blade. <laughs> Older. I don't think there is. I think that's something you have to learn how to jump. I don't see anything that could be pushed. Do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? Sometimes. What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Yeah, maybe let some other things matter. Also get used as a tool. I'm assuming is the whole deal with her being locked away and being fed. Uh, She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Got nothing but time. Oh, Imperian Nominat. Hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. So oh, fix your hair. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. 
Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him! Anyways, for rocks. Clothing movement is so awkward. Hey guys. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch? It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. Send me back there anyways. So if we're taking him as a navigator, the whole cutting off his tail thing, kind of pointless, huh? You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. Alright. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> Me. I don't care if it's You're around multiple it, weapons. As long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. 
by the man who killed my brother. Still holding on to that dead brother thing. That was years ago. Come on. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. <laughs> Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Listen to me! Artorius is... Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. Hmm. We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment any time. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me... Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. 
Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Who's there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. Oh, stop! Ah! Ah! It's up! Ah! We're finished here. Let's go. Two teams. The town's one team is gone. just a guy. I was right. It's a trap. Sure. Thing would be. Hi guys. demon lady you're here you're the demon that escaped the island what if I am you hurt my dear Oscar you will pay for that slowly you come and face me then exorcist I am honor bound to aid her. Deception! already. The button fits the Is this all you've got? A pair of demons should be simple for you. My blade next. You fiends! All of this is form up! Is that all you've got? Deception! Deception! See this? See this? Deception! Deception! Don't hold back! Crush them now! Hang in there, Velvet! You too! See this? 
I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our stores of flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! Yeah, knock the fuck you. out! Teresa, the ships, the port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! <laughs> I won't let you escape! Never! Earth and wind! You oh, deceitful shit. snake! I'm a demon. Spare me your sins, then you can pay with your life! Earth and win! By the way, they said she was so powerful even among the powerful, I was expecting, you know, uh, one of those fights where you lose by default. Clearly not what this is. I'm going to do. 
to let it end here. Oscar. As exorcist Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. <laughs> the kid's gonna blow himself up! <laughs> huh? To think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! <laughs> two Praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you. Curse you. Such ghastly demons. The Abbey, no. Lord Artorius himself must be informed. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. Thunder. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> this one's defective. Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way...
Hello, duck. Velvet! How's our heading? <sighs> this is so hard to read. First, you gotta set it down. Actually, the level you're circles. holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh? Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? Uh, right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Cannon fire astern! Pirates! That flag. It's got to be Eifried's pirate crew. They've got a bead on us, folks! And in case you hadn't noticed, we aren't really equipped for sea combat! <sighs> to land, then! We can fight them there! Huh! Well, look at that! They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. A Moloch? No, I'm the Reaper. Let's go. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and people. No pendulum that I can see. I'll stop you! Deception! Deception! Let's go! How's that? Let's go! Wait for my maid, fucker. Thank you. 
See this? Here you go. Hold too slow. Deception. Deception. Too slow. See this? See this? Too slow. Too slow. For one. Too slow. For two. Let's go. How's two? How's that? No escape. Deception. See this? See this? How's that? Too slow. You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. Morning. Have a good nap. Take so that as a guess. what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. For the sake of battle boots, I'm stupid. That I get a healer, I can consider different things.
Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> And then you get shipwrecked. Not a big deal. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. <clears throat> if you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? No, the it's really the piracy that makes a pirate. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough. If forward lies destruction and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option. And yet you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch, too. Hey, boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Eifried's pirates. Eifried is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. Is is to become the Pirate King. Your compassion for me. Oh. 
I'll end this quickly. See this? Gotcha, gotcha. Deception. Deception. Gotcha, See this? Gotcha, Deception. Form two. Devour. Got you. Finish. I'll stop you. See this? I'll stop you. Deception. Gotcha, gotcha. Come on, really? My wallet is not a toy. My wallet is not a toy. There's no money in it, so you can have it. I'll end this quickly. Got you. Twin whip. See this? Got, got you. I'll stop you. Twin whip. Got there. Uh, God damn it. Twin whip. Got you. Got there. Nope. Deception. Twin whip. Got you. Got you. Deception. Sir, yes. Got there. Two. Sir, yes. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got Come on, really? Here I come! Got you! Twin whip! Got, See this? Got you! I'll stop you! Two! See this? Sir, yes! Twin whip! See this? Got you! Got you! Got you! Got you! Twin whip! Got you! Got you! See this? Twin whip! Got you! Got you! Got you! Twin whip! Victory is ours. Any pity or compassion from me? Can see what popped up there. Really hate how it displays stuff at the end of battle like that. When you're already hitting the button to try to move on, it just real quick pops something up like, "Oh, by the way, this happened." Like, have that linger on the screen past the battle end. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Hmm. Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. 
But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't Vortigern. fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. They're really not uh, hiding that he's probably a reincarnation of Lapiset, huh? Not really hiding it at all. We're right in his fucking costume name. A hat back will still be in the nope, reverts. That's too bad. You'll be rust on my blade. See this? Too slow. Wind light. See this? Let's go. I'll set. No escape. See this? Disruption. Twin whip. Twin whip. I'm on down. Wind light. See this? I'll set. No escape. I'll stop. You're wide open. Burn. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out?
Good balance. My swordsman's probably the most replaceable right now since basically it does the same thing as her, just not as good. turning blue. Really distracting. Oh, 
Healer boy, why are you not healing? Forget the pain and move. Forget the pain and move. Too slow. See this? See this? Forget the pain and move. Deception. Pop it. See this? It's some shit. For more. Forget the pain and move. Hey. See this? Hey. Forget the pain and move. Deception. No. I what? can't die here. Deception. Okay, sure. Why not? Bullshit. Form two. Quickness. Where's my healer? Hey. Healer that's not bothering to heal at all. See this? Quick one. Forget the pain and move. See this? Quick. See this? Too slow. Down. Deception. Forget the pain and move. See this? Forget the pain and move. Down. Take. Form two. Forget the pain and move. See this? Deception. See this? Take. Deception. Wind light. Wind light. Take. See this? Wind light. Take. See this? Damn. See Let's this? Go. Deception! Let's go! Hey. Hey. Good! Hey. See this? Hey. Let's See go! This? Hey. See this? See hey. this? Hey. Win hey. left! Form two! Hey. See this? Yeah. Seems like if you keep hey. circling him... Let's go. See this? As you attack, he doesn't hit you with that stupid fucking one-hit kill claw. Plus, of course, scorpions walk up and stun you. No, now that it's over.
Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying okay. some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malakim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not exactly normal ourselves. I'll finish this quick. See this? The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing, then? Not even remotely! Uh... You all right, kid? 
Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malakim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up. You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Okay. The other way. Thank 
something wrong with this controller. It keeps activating the menus and shit. I think the right stick sticks. I don't even use a controller that often. Only on RPGs like this. Fighting games, but I haven't played a fighting game in a while. Only one I really want is like 60 bucks and I can't afford that, so... Yeah. Oh boy. Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope. We're on. I'm just a plain old turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. But for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And at Old White Turtle Shop, <coughs> we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high... Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Zs. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged! Oh, I guess that's all he has. Oh, 15 is the max you can have of those? Okay. That just the max you happen to have. more and actually start cooking on the auto cook build up cooking levels if nothing else
You sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? You're Get fighting down. the Reaper! Hold stop you! Too slow! Got you, got you! Hurricane! Hold stop you! No escape! Hold stop you! One away! Got you! Got you! Take that! Take that! One down! Got you! Finish! Got you! Finish. Forget the pain and move! Got you! Got you! One away! Got you! Got you! Stay down! Got you! Got down! Twin whip! Got you! Got down! Twin whip! Take that! Devour! Got you! Got you! See this? Twin whip! Got you! Got down! No hurricane! Twin whip! Too close! Hey! Hold stop! Go! See this? Devour! Twin whip! One, two! I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. What are turtles anyway? Some sort Knowing of things from the weird men. city. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim. So I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? Two-Face. <sighs> Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the Reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the Reaper on the back. It's an image of the Demon King, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? 
Martell the Goddess, and Daus the Demon King. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765, The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <sighs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. He comes up tails, he's gonna kill someone. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? Right way. Go on the right way. Hurricane! Next! Hurricane! Power! Hurricane! Finish! 
I refuse to fall here. Looks like you're gonna die. See this? See this? Hold stop! Hold stop! Hold stop! That glowy thing on the ground was. Your style is really unique. Always ready to fight. I'll pass up. Wasn't worth the effort. Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Stop. Those guards are... Careful. They're not what they seem. They've transformed into demons! What kind of curse is this, Aizen? Oh, I warned you, didn't I? Hold stop! Hold stop! See this? Hurricane! Hurricane! Hold stop! See this? You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. <sighs> in that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find. Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Aizen. You're the source of demon blight? Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. 
This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Seagate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Sorry to cut you down. Not sorry. Stop that. Hey, not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. I've given you lots of empty dead ends in this game. This door should lead to the gate, but it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Got a key. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. Indeed, and my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. All going up your rectum. The key is in the control room. It's through there. <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Uh. Well... Thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Hello, 
Let's start searching. Okay. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. Buddy. Looks like you want to die. Nothing can stop these fists. You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No, not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blades separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. So you get it's a too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Artorius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? Always. I'd rather cut them, actually. Uh. He'd rather moan passionately. Let's see this! Let's go! I'll see this! Hurricane! 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 Hurricane
Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. You'll be Sergei! rushed on my blade. See this? Well then, let's move on. We're finished here. Let's go. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Ah! Aha! Found it. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? 
I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it, and I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Compasses make my dick the hard. points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass, too. Nice work. Thank you. Now to take care of that ship. Right. To the docks. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, my compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. <sighs> well, no worry. I'll just push your bump back down, you'll be good as new. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. Oh, okay. I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. I will, though. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen, it's soft as a baby's skin, it's light and stretchable, it breathes, and it's quite durable. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact. Uh, my, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. You better be ready. Got you! Oh, hey, 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 hey,
I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Lovely. A fallen boulder. They're not much for maintenance around here. Too bad we'd never be able to smash through it. If it weren't for bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck at all. I suppose. We still have to get through here somehow. Let's see if we can find some way to move the rock. Your style is really unique. How do you plan to stop the battleship? It's equipped with large cannons. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. Got. Hurricane. Hurricane. 
come on, really? An exorcist Praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait! Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style! Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Get in my way, and I'll kill you, too. Are you mocking the Reaper? Running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's. I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo! The Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. <laughs> Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamada knives are cursed. Hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Rangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose.
I'm gonna go outside and start punching these crickets. It's driving me fucking crazy. All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. Man, I'm trying to do this quickly. Did you not hear that? I'm doing it quickly. In the way. We're finished here. Let's go. That's so, probably not important. This opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. All right, let's find the other device. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. <clears throat> I can't let you do that. This is my... This is my... This is my fortress! Get 
The compass. The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. It's coming at full speed! Diggity. Let's get a move on then. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance?
<sighs> Nicely done! You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and you're shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Stir by putting it on a flat surface. Luffy said, <laughs> It's a name. Your name. My. My name? Luffy said, It's a fine name. Well, it's no it's Magu. Name. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Luffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Most of them have stupid names. Now this is refreshing, sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking the pirate ship here? So, how were the northern seas, Aizen? Helaviz and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logris. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? 
Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. But Benwick, he... Eisen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the Outer Seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Ifreed's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing! You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. So You'll be able to mission? assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a sylph jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time. And besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Go with the lemon sea. Scout ship setting sail. Take a look at this. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly! Tuna or yellowtail or sturgeon! Now that I've got an expedition timer, I think it's a good time to take a break. So I've been at this for how long? Let's see. Oh, almost three hours. Yeah, definitely break time.